guys, it's Michelle here. Just want to show you my first ever Flourish junk journal. This one's going in the post to California pretty soon, so I just want to do a quick flick through. I just used a plain old envelope. Nothing spectacular. I had these. These were gifted to me. So I tissue papered, acrylic, stenciled, and then put some graphics over the top. I've washi taped the outside edge just to reinforce the envelope. Let's get you inside. These images have come from many different sources. I've been collecting for a while. So you just put these images into folders and before you know it, you've just got a bulk of images to go. I've done a bit of fussy cutting here. I've got an old postcard, an old trainer, some of the junk that's come through my door. The whole gist is that once this goes to my pen pal, she can use the images later on in some of her work. So I've just stuck this one onto an old envelope. She can just cut down the sides and this image of Twiggy can be used again. Loads of images on this book page, which is just fantastic. And it literally is many books. We've got Twiggy again here going on. I seem to have got myself all stuck. There is a little bit of washy and there are a few clips going on here. I'll just take that clip off of there. Some pattern paper that I've just enclosed. Another image that I've cut out of a poppy, dare I say it. I had some Dorset tea, just used this as a way of tucking in some scrap tags here. Bits and pieces that are cut from postcards or maybe even just from some Christmas packaging. Bit of mixed media paper going on here. More images. It's really just about gifting on these wonderful images and allowing somebody else the opportunity to use them. Lovely image here from Sandra Rhodes. It's washi taped down the outside edge so that can be taken out and just leaving the back of the paper plain. Daphne's diary is our equivalent, I think, in a roundabout way to a flourish journal because, <clears throat> as you can see, you can use this as a stencil later on. This young lady's into cats, so I've just gifted this image. And we've just got a sachet of coffee here. And I've just cut out bits and pieces or stuff that I've got kicking around on my table. Some tickets, a little leaf there. Image, uh, just a post-it pamphlet here of some of the craft that's going on at a craft fair. So yeah, again, some more images that can be used. This was just a random me trying to learn how to do some pockets. So that's gone in. Another beautiful book page. That just happens to be some writing at the back. Another page for another book. Encouraging to draw. Images, history, pattern paper. That can be used. Random mixed media paper. More images. Yeah, again, <coughs> excuse me. A little book page here on handbags. Just wanted to do a bit of a fashion theme here. Postcard, which I've coloured in, that's what she takes, so that can be removed, and another big image. Handbags, and images from about angels, good old audience survey map here, turned into an envelope, and I've just enclosed some tea for her, she likes her tea. This has just been glued onto an old scrappy brown envelope. Inside is just a postcard, which I have gessoed. I'm going to write on there. One of my pucketees that I've used. More random scrap turned into tags. Bits and pieces. I've eaten a mango and a watermelon. These are just stickers that have come on, on the fruit, so I've just stuck them in. Another map turned into an envelope holding some more spicy and lemon tea so hopefully they'll be enjoyed later and as you can see it just if i go to the center again it's just all held in i've just used some gold ribbon packaging from christmas so that can, all these can be pulled out so you've got large pages small pages some with text on the back, some with images. It is a matter of, just so 
it all can be gifted on and reused, more images. So when it comes to the back, it's a bit difficult for me. The advantage of a florist journal is that you're not necessarily going to get so much text on the back pages. A little bit of wallpaper here, which is embossed, so I think that's going to be grand. More mixed media paper. Just a random fly that's come through the door. Just reusing an envelope, um, well this card actually here, just glued it together because obviously it's been written in and this just works as a tuck here and that also can be cut out later on. We've got some wax chrome and some images just like a relief going on here. Here I've just done some embossing. This envelope here hasn't been stuck down, so she can use it as a template. Just one of my stamps that could be coloured in or photocopied later on. Here we have a body combat. This is an activity that I do get up to, not as looking as trim as these guys, I have to confess. And that just tucks nicely into here. Which is probably going to be the devil's own job now that I've started to do it on film. So I shall literally put that to one side. I promise you it does tuck in neatly. We've just got some more bits and pieces I've cut out to decorate this sugar paper. These can all be recut out again. An amazing napkin that I've just recently purchased. So that's going inside because that's fun. Another image. And at the back here, just a piece of part of an envelope that I've just sliced down which is working as a pocket. A little tarot card here with a um, unicorn. So bits and bobs, postcard, again that I've just coloured in. A bit of junk mail that's just come through the door all relating to New Year's and resolutions. And a bag here that I would I've received my medication in, <laughs> and I definitely need a lot of medication, that's for sure. Just some tissue paper that has uh, just had colour washes over the top, and this literally all just folds back up, like so. Well, thanks guys for watching my first flowish junk journal, and hope to catch up with you soon. Bye-bye.